<laughs> yeah. Yeah, it was disbelief when I, when I saw it going, actually. But uh, it was a brilliant strike. It really was. Uh, I hadn't really seen him do it in training yet. I've got to say, uh, he certainly pulled one out and that put us in a good position. No, he wasn't. I thought he was at the time. I've seen it after and he's not. I think the biggest thing is the tackle, which I think did catch him, but it wasn't a free kick meant that we were out of position slightly when, when Son struck the ball. And, and to be fair, we had done a really good job in trying to restrict him or block them. Or fortunately, their shots were going over the bar or wide at different times. But, uh, but I've got to say, he scored a really good goal as well from, from distance. Yeah, I mean, look, I've got to say, Andre Oyo came on and gave us, held the ball up, went for a run, kept a hold of it at that time. And, and set them up, so it, it, it gave us a bit of a platform there. And look, the game was always, you would always expect to get some moments in the game. The biggest thing for us was how, how long we could make sure that we didn't allow Tottenham to score. Uh, no, I was hoping for much more. But I've got to say, I don't want to come here and get beat five and fours. And we remember, this is the team that beat Real Madrid a few weeks ago, 3-1. So, Let's put it in perspective. I would really like to have the players Tottenham Hotspur half year. Uh, and maybe one day at West Ham we will have. But at the moment, while we don't, my job as the coach is to find a way of getting results for the club. A bit unlucky to lose at Man City. Yeah. I thought we've showed fantastic resolve to keep going and the resilience I've had as well. Uh, so I have to, I have to play, praise the players. You know, we, we want to play better and we want to play in a different way at, at, at times. But because of the gulf at the moment between the top clubs and, the, and probably the clubs near the bottom or to middle, football's played in different ways. If it was all played the one way, it would be boring. Sometimes this is the way football is and tonight, the players showed a great resolve to get in the way, block things. Young Declan played really well at the back tonight. So really, I've got to say, there were so many pluses for us. But also, for where we need to go and where we want to progress, then it's, it's a long journey, obviously, to, to get as good as what Tottenham are like at the moment. I've no idea about it, no. So I couldn't... I couldn't tell you one way or the other, no. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, I think that I think that the confidence has grown because of the results, and I think, you know, we've we've arguably I think we are maybe one of the worst defensive records in the in the Premier League. Suddenly, we've started to look a little bit stronger. But then there's been other games where we've lost goals, like we lost three at Bournemouth, we lost uh, three against Newcastle. But I've got to say, in the main, you know, I think I think we might have gone, I don't know, as maybe only lost one in seven, something like that at the moment. So I think we're on a good run. I think the players are growing with a bit of confidence. They're certainly feeling better about themselves and how they're playing, that's for sure. You know, they're disappointed they didn't win it tonight in the end. But in the same breath, I think with the efforts they put in over the last two games, I think you'd have to, have to give them a lot of credit.